Yes, people, it's your boy Fred Stones. Thanks for passing by the channel. Hit that sub button for me if you're new here. Comment, share, like, you know, the whole shebang. You know how we do. Guys, we can finally breathe now. <laughs> Let's breathe. Love Island is finally over. And I, for one, I am happy as Larry. <laughs> I'm so happy. For the last eight weeks, two months of my life here, yeah, every single night except for Saturday night here, yeah, bro, man, it, it feels like a chore. I felt like a Mongolian camel herder. I felt like I was clocking in for some Deliveroo or something. <laughs> you know them ones there, like, yo, it just felt like a big weight off the shoulders now. Man could just finally breathe again and just get me do this and just, yeah, but I celebrated last night, I'm not gonna lie. Pop some balloons and them things there. Party over here! Yo, I just blew up some balloons. I didn't do nothing with them. I just left them around the room because <laughs> I didn't do nothing with them. But do you know what? Yeah, I'm so, so happy for Kai and Sanam. More so for Sanam because Sanam, she just seems like a pure soul. Angelic vibes and stuff, you know what I mean? I'm glad she finally got her princess, her Aladdin and them things there. Well, Kai, Kai don't really look like Aladdin. It's more like a boot, but... <laughs> For the sake of this video, we'll just say, we'll just call him Aladdin, yeah? But I'm so happy for Sanam. And like my partner said yesterday, yeah? And I truly believe it as well, that it's because of Sanam why Kai won. A lot of people just fell in love with this innocent girl. I missed all that madness that was going on in the villa with witches like Olivia, snitches like Sammy, Tanya with all that madness as well. So to find someone that's just a bit normal and stuff was, was like, ah! it was lovely. <laughs> And I was so happy for her. She looked beautiful yesterday. I even heard her drop the L bomb to um, Flip and Kai. Lil, they look so good together. They look like they was like meant to be together, like Paya Mash. You no, know, like mushy peas and gravy or something. You know what I mean? They they look like they were meant to be. <laughs> they belong together. And I, I'm happy for them. And even for the fact that Kai took on Olivia, he swung at that hairy top lip gal, little nasty Olivia with her anyway. The fact that Kai went at her and succeeded, he was like the only one out of everyone in this season to go against her because everyone else got dashed out, whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm so, so happy for them. Like I literally was cheesing last night, just watching it. But again, I'm just glad it's finally over. And it's the first time a couple of colour has won it on Love Island, which I was like, rah! Do you know what? I hate that coloured word. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't think I'm going to use it. I don't want to use ethnic. I don't, I don't know. I don't like any of them words. Colour especially, like... They make man sound like some Crayola or something, like man some crayons. Man's not no crayons, man's a human being, you know them ones there. But yeah, it's the first time like people that's not white has won it. <laughs> and I'm so happy for them. The voting numbers are out. Guys, Kai and Sanam got 44%. That's like the majority of the votes. Like a staggering 343,241 votes. Just for Kai and Sanam. And the second place weren't even close. London is closer to Saudi Arabia than the second place was to flipping Kai and Sanam. It weren't even close, not by, <laughs> not by a long shot. And everybody was thinking it was going to be like razor thin and all that stuff. But nah, it was big, like Grand Canyon big. It was massive. <laughs> Ron and Lana in second place, they got 30%, which, which ain't that bad. But second place is still the first loser. <laughs> Nobody cares about who's second. In years to come, man's gonna be like, who was second again? Nobody remembers second place. Absolutely nobody. But yeah, 30%, the pirate done well with all his scheming, maneuvering, his snaky ways, one eye willy, flipping Jack Sparrow brother. Ron, he done well. I more feel sorry for Lana, because this brother Ron is gonna take her on a ride like it's a school trip. I swear down, he's gonna take her on a long one. <laughs> He already said he's going to change when he gets outside and all that stuff. But yeah, that was them in second place. And in third place was Tom and Sammy with 24%. So you can see that Tom and Sammy and Ron Alana was very close. Tom and Sammy was closer to Ron Alana than Ron Alana was to Kai and Sanam. Second and third place. Two losers just joined together and them things there by the hip. <laughs> Sammy thought she was going to get them brand deals. She ain't getting nothing. Only thing she's getting is a happy meal. And Tom's paying for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you want, babe? A happy meal. Oh. <laughs> Bro, yeah. And last but not least, I'm not going to lie. This was embarrassing. Shaq and Tanya. Bro, they only got 2%. <laughs> that last, like, about, like, maybe 10 people voted for it. I don't know. I'm joking. It was, like, 19,000 votes or something like that, or 20,000 votes. But compared to the others, who's got hundreds of thousands, like, it's not a lot. 
2%. But again, again, I said on the live last night, if you haven't seen the live on Chicane TV, get on Chicane TV, go watch the live. But yeah, like I said last night, yeah, them being in the final is just a win in itself. So without revealing all those percentages and all that stuff, like if you just hid that away, everyone looks like a winner. But when you show 2%, it's like, yo, you start looking at people sideways like, <laughs> That's embarrassing still, I'm not going to lie, 2%, you know. They should have just hid that, man. Why are they telling the public what Shaq and Tanya got for, man? Embarrassing the man them, you know. <laughs> wow. But yeah, I'm still proud of them. I'm still proud of Shaq and Tanya. Obviously, a lot of people think they're only in the final because of the compatibility vote and all that stuff. But it is what it is. It's the name of the game. Don't hate the player, hate the game. You know what I'm saying? This might be like one of the lowest percentage votes for like an OG couple. On the, in the finals and them things they love island like i'm not sure like, like i saw um chad and jess from a couple seasons ago like two three seasons ago chad and jess remember wedge um chad my man my man that looked like flipping bigfoot and he was with that gal that had a twin in there as well but yeah when they came last or whatever their percentages were like 2.25 or something like that and they weren't og couples they came in as bombshells or whatever yeah shaq and tanya are og couples so Anyway, I wish them the best. Guys, like I said, if you haven't seen last night's live, nine of your favourite content creators on one live talking about Love Island, reviewing it. It was fun. It was positive. It was productive. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. Shout out to Chicane TV for hosting it. Shout out to Nicole Davis, Sarah Destiny, Topical Juice, Little Black Book, Queen E. And am I missing anyone out? I hope I'm not. <laughs> it's your boy Fred Stones. Guys, even though Love Island's done yet, yeah, I'm still here. I'm going to be reviewing other things. I'm trying to get bigger. I'm trying to get big like my fellow content creators and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be like the last one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to work the thing there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, guys, one more thing as well, yeah? I only do this because of you guys. I'm not going to lie. You lot give me like the battery. Put the battery in my back to fuel me and stuff. The charcoal on the fire and them things there. The marshmallow and them things there. You guys, your comments, I see them. I reply when I can to most of them. And I, I really, really appreciate you guys. And I, 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 words don't even describe how much I've, I, I, I appreciate you guys. You know? But yeah, thanks a lot for your support. And I'm going to be continue to be here and hopefully be making kind of content that you guys like. But yeah, it's your boy Fred Stones. You know how we do? <laughs>